Okay. Um. Ma? I can't move uh, the menu. There we go. But, um. Yeah, uh, to that what I was saying, some, you can, uh, you can find some good posts on, for, on Tumblr, but a lot of it's great. People are crazy. Uh, some aren't. Some are fine. But a lot are. Um, oh, like I said, there's a fucking lifting fandom there. Yeah. Enough said. But, um... Hago? <laughs> I actually think I heard someone mentioning that before. But yeah, um... Yeah, the... Ooh. The Tenth Fleet was established in t uh, 3301 to aid the Federation's military expansion under President Jasmina Halsey. After the disappearance, Zachary Hudson activated the Tenth Fleet as a forward offensive force. Okay. Uh, but yeah, um... Uh, sorry, I'm just kind of flat-footed now. I feel like I'm... I know I feel awkward about the post, so it's just making me rethink everything I'm saying. But yeah, um... You can find some good posts there. You can find good posts on the other side. A lot of kooky, but there's some gems in there. Um... And I do love those dead worlder things. Because, I know, it's just it's, some of it's funny, you know? But anyway. What? Wang City? <laughs> uh, Russ, run this. B I R. Check Durant's dock through the market here. Uh, through uh, Inara. Curious metals. Cobalt. You buy. It. There's a heavy demand for that. I don't know when this will last updated. Heavy demand, and you want just shy 15k a piece.
Hmm. Okay. That's the case. Trade routes. Let me check and see here if there's anything. Uh, nope. Never mind. I was going to see if there was anything here that I could trade. Um, I, I could get the cobalt from at a lower price. But there isn't. There isn't. Market last updated three hours ago on um, during stock. They will pay good money for tritium. I can't get that here. Oh wait, I can, but it would only be like nine thousand profit. It not exactly a good deal. Oh, hello, hello, folks, and I'm back. Apologies for that. I had to disappear for a bit. Did find a great song, though, for a moment. Uh, ooh, open play. Let's about turn. Let's not be in open play right now. I'm a little too vulnerable. Um, did find a great song there. Ah, okay. Yeah, did find a great song there. Um, Xenophobia by Bill Sutton. About hating aliens. Of the extraterrestrial kind. It's, it's fantastic. We'll serve them up a genocide that they'll never forget. It's, it's, a, br it's, a, it's a brilliant song. I haven't heard any other of his work but that. And it's, it's beautiful. So... There's even less cobalt than before. Okay, that honestly looks like tarantulum. <laughs> Spider metal. Reminds me, I was joke, jo uh, joking in one of my Grim Dawn videos, there's an underground beehive, and somehow that, that spawned into... It's an underground beehive made of giant bees. Like the walls are bee, and they're like move. It's just a ton of bees like stuck together side to side kind of thing, and they're like moving, and like you have to mine through them with your pickaxe. market. Cobalt still at a good price. H how is anything else? Mm. They don't care for copper. Um. No, not gallium. Gold, no. How's lithium? Mm. I could sell silver. Uranium's an option. Titanium, no. Damn, I should have grabbed the cobalt that I could. I just had to run there and then. Apologies. There's a great demand for cobalt, but if they don't have it, they don't have it. 
they'll gradually tick more in every so often. Someone was saying that they were trying to get um, t uh, mines. So they got to, t uh, for Liz Taylor, they had to get landmines for her. And, um, some, then again, landmines, why would they be using them in space? Whatever. Um, call back to earlier. And they would tick back in an extra 10 every, like, half an hour or whatnot. Oh, there's only three. Uh, 13. Hmm. Okay, let us see. Pod route to market. Oh, I was wondering, I was like, when did I unlock two more? But, no, it's just general bookmarks. So yeah, basically this is just all the data that I was looking at on the other side, just in a harder to read sort of way. Uh, just like in here, see how there's all these cook into the empire, and there's all this to read. I would, uh, that's what I mean about you know going through and reading. Um, reading all. Oh wait. The alliance, introduction, rise like. L Okay, that's incredible. The alliance. Introduction. Rise. 
like lions after slumber in unvanquishable number. Shake your chains to earth like dew which in sleep had fallen on you. Ye are many, they are few. Percy by Shelley, The Mask of Anarchy, 1819. Oh my god, okay, my opinion of this game has... I've read your speech a dozen times, Mick. We can't use it. I'm sure we could sound off about self-rule and freedom from tyranny and the dignity of the working man slash woman, and the young hotheads would lap it up like they always do. I'm... Okay, my opinion of this game has jumped. Like... Given how like they had the other stuff as um you know a limited time affair, I was figuring that all these entries would just be all text and nothing else. I didn't think they actually went through and had stuff wrote for like audio for all of these. Or maybe they just have audio for the Empire. History. The Akinard Colony was founded in the mid 23rd century. Well, no, they have audio for all of it. I know what we're listening to from now on, folks. <laughs> like, yes, beautiful. We can learn now about the lore of the game while I'm playing it. But yeah, I was thinking I could go through and read through all of them uh, as a separate video, but there's no need. They have it in the game, and it seems to be going nowhere. Unlike the Galnet posts, which are temp temporary, uh, and are, but are still relevant to the lore of the game. So I would actually be quite interested, still be quite interested in reading through all of them for as a separate series. But there's no need to do that for the knowledge-based stuff, it seems. I'm partially waiting here for the respawn of silver. Partially, I need to ha hand you my hands. Okay, gold will be bought at... No. It's bought at 56,000. That's... Uh, there would be, like, a slight sliver of profit. Not, not nearly enough. How is Patrick's terminal? Silver's bought at that. Gold's bought at fifty-one. The prices there for materials are a lot lower. Um, if I, if there's platinum here, I'll be in good money, but no. Mm. To add to a degree of income here, I could, uh, buy some uranium. I get, uh, they sell it for 2,981, basically 3 grand, and these will sell it, uh, buy it for 3 grand, 349. It's negligible, but... Wait. Hmm. They will actually... These guys sell synthetic fabrics. Yeah, I'll buy, I'll buy some... Um, sorry, conductive fabrics. They actually... Uh, these guys sell them. These guys will buy them for... 
2,226. So, about 600 profit. Can I go the other way? No. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. Launch. Have I gone to Woman 16 before? Even if it's your, like, friendly station, like, that greets you as an ally, if you block the door, they will just shoot you on sight. I thought that seemed odd. Uh, Galaxy. Fast camp? What? Just faction owned installation? Have I been here before?
LHS449, uh, an obscure federal mining system that was once known as CPD-468664, home of the Arganian miners, uh, Pirates Inc., which was created by ancient seafaring families of the old world. Thank you, game. Or the path seemed longer than previously. Yet, yeah, I swear sometimes the, like, paths between sections changes. Like, I swore this was done differently. Tourists. Um, yeah, I, I thought it was a five jump sort of deal. Okay, jump. Let's go back here to Ross. See? Much better route. Theoretically. Conceptual. I have no idea anymore. It just did one appeared worse at first glance. this on. The Empire. Introduction. What a piece of work is man. How noble in reason. How infinite in faculty. In form and moving. How express and admirable. In action. How like an angel. In apprehension, how like a god, the beauty of the world, the paragon of animals. Shakespeare, Hamlet. When our ancestors departed Earth, they asked themselves, which of our achievements represents the best of humanity that we may bring it with... Frameship drive charging. First, we'll mean the darkness. 
the Federation embroiled in a world of contracts and petty bickering chose their constitution. They placed their trust not in man himself, but in an imperfect work of man. But my ancestor, your first emperor, was wiser. He knew that the best achievement of humanity was humanity itself. <laughs> there was more wisdom in a single nucleotide of his noble DNA than in all the Federation's written texts. That same wisdom still guides us now. We need no dusty documents to assert our right. We are human born to rule. And the universe awaits the firm hand of our governance. Frameship drive charging. Emperor Traskin Duval II, undelivered draft speech written immediately before his sudden and unexplained death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hysterical. The Empire, while younger than the Federation, is easily the equal of its historic rival in terms of scale and resources. The keys. The distinction between the two powers is that slavery in the Empire is legal. A fact that has remained a source of controversy since its inception, both within the Empire and without. Some observers have pointed out, however, the conditions for those at the lowest level. Uh, let's make it a little easier to hear. Fine then. Actually, it's less the. Uh, yeah, it's less the voices. Yeah, it's less this. It's more this. Federal society are far worse than those experienced by imperials. Shit! Fine. Fuck off, jerk jerkass. Three, two, one. Make it so. Quickly. something. Okay, audio. It's 
make should make it a little easier to hear and differentiate from the noise. The popular image of the Empire is one of opulence, but more pomp and pageantry. Frameship drive charging. He be the norm in the core Imperial systems. Elsewhere in Imperial space, one can find myriad examples of deprivation and squalor. Indeed, the Empire encompasses many striking con. Sophisticated technology exists alongside an ancient Roman system of government, and the affluence of the core worlds depends on often unregulated slave labor in the wretched outer colonies. Ruthless industrial efficiency and low taxation has made the empire rich and mighty. The hierarchy of imperial society is rigid, but a citizen can always rise through the ranks if he or she becomes wealthy enough and makes the right connections. Even a slave could, in theory, become a senator. The Empire. History. The Akinar colony was founded. In the mid-23rd century, wealthy entrepreneur Marlin Duval was so frustrated with the federal government... There's nothing... Uh I know I'm not talking here, but that's because this is a very interesting to listen to. Let's learn about the setting. That she founded an independent colony of her own in the Akinar system, chosen for its remoteness. When Marlin was killed shortly afterwards in a flyer accident, her brother Henson Duval took over as ruler. Henson Duval the Emperor. Duval immediately abolished the fledgling democracy that Marlin had set up, and in its place, he established a system modeled on ancient Rome. He was now emperor, and his closest allies were his senators. Any colonists who might have objected were forced into silent compliance with Duval's vision. Such were his wealth and power. It was also widely believed that Marlin Duval, like Remus in ancient Rome, had been killed by her own brother. Nobody dared to speak out. The Mudlark Extinction the colonists were aware that the planet they had settled, Akinar 6D, had indigenous life. But at first, it wasn't appreciated that this in Akinar. Hmm. Uh, I think that's the name of a character from the game Mist. There's two brothers, both of them evil, really. Just in different ways. Um but I think one of them was called Akinar. Included a sentient species. Nicknamed the Mudlarks after they were observed digging through riverbank mud in search of food. Although the mudlarks were at a pre-agricultural stage of development, they appeared to have developed the beginnings of language. They also created crude forms in molded clay, with no obvious practical purpose, possibly indicating a nascent artistic culture. The mudlarks proved fatally vulnerable to the bacteria carried by the colonists, and within a few decades of the colony's founding, the species was extinct. Rumors subsequently emerged that Henson Duval had purposefully removed all traces of the mudlarks, partly in fear of federal reprisal and partly to ensure that his development plans would not be hindered by ecological constraints. The Federation attempted to reclaim Akinar. When the federal government heard rumors that Duval's colony had recklessly caused the destruction of a sentient indigenous species, they decided on military intervention. The Imperial ships beat back the federal attackers, who were unable to establish a beachhead among the airless outer worlds, and struggled to maintain supply lines so far from Earth. The federal forces eventually fell back and entrenched in the Beta Hydri system. Skirmishes with Imperial ships continued for the next 50 years, but these were unable to prevent Duval from expanding the Empire to many other worlds. The Age of Expansion After hostilities with the Federation ceased, the Empire entered a century of growth, annexing many new systems and persuading others to join. It spent the following two centuries consolidating its new territory, appointing colonial administrators from among the noble houses of Akinar. The Empire. Society. An ancient Roman model. The Empire works on a clean system. So 
society is divided into tiers. Emperor, senators, patrons, clients, and then citizens, with slaves below these. Groups of patrons pledge their support to a given senator, offering military service, tax revenue, and the right to wield the patron's votes in the Senate on their behalf. In return, the patron are granted a measure of protection and material security, as well as having their interests represented. Lake on Papa Alpha Lima, Falcon welcomes you to Alliance Territory. By safety while in and around the starport, please remain calm and authorised. Proceed to landing pad 2 2. Preparing for precision approach, you can still be completed. Senators are responsible for assigning tax rates and welfare systems for their patrons meaning that the lower a given senator's tax rates, the more patrons he is likely to attract. This is far from being a patron's only concern, however. Loyalty over time, ideological compatibility, family connections, and discreet private deals can all play a part in deciding which senator to back. The system extends downward through the tiers in a similar fashion, with clients pledging themselves to given patrons, and citizens pledging themselves to given clients. The votes held by the patrons actually comprise the total votes of all the clients pledged to them. Similarly, the votes held by those clients comprise the total votes of their pledged citizens. Patrons are therefore capable of investing variable degrees of power in their chosen senators, with the result that some senators are more powerful than others. Senators are responsible for those below them meaning that everyone has a form of social security, at least in theory. Indeed, many senators take pride in the security they offer their citizens. Some have even been known to drain material wealth from small independent worlds and pump it back into the capital economy, allowing them to reduce citizens' taxes and giving their own popularity a considerable boost.